There are several methods of how to soften refrigerated buttercream frosting. Most people will store their leftover buttercream in their fridge to ensure freshness and quality. However, buttercream frosting is best served at room temperature. If you haven't used buttercream or frosted baked goods that have been sitting out for more than three days, you will want to keep it in your fridge. Storing buttercream in your fridge allows it to have a longer shelf life. If left out too long, the buttercream will become stiff, begin to separate, and may be prone to causing foodborne illnesses. How to soften refrigerated buttercream frosting, the process. If you have your buttercream in the fridge, you will want to let it soften before using it to decorate. You will learn different ways on how to soften refrigerated buttercream frosting, depending on what is most convenient for your needs. Microwave method. If you are in a rush and are looking for a quick way to soften your buttercream, you can use a microwave. If you use a microwave, you need to be careful not to heat it for too long. The buttercream will melt if it gets too hot. To soften your buttercream in the microwave, use a low power setting and don't microwave it for more than 15 seconds at a time, depending on the amount of buttercream you have. You will want to microwave the buttercream in intervals to make sure it doesn't melt. You should stir the buttercream every time to make sure the heat will evenly disperse in the frosting. If you have a large amount of buttercream, you can microwave small portions and mix them into the rest of your buttercream. Mixing the small amount of microwaved buttercream into the rest of your buttercream will allow heat to transfer and soften it. This is a good method if you have a lot of frosting you are trying to soften. How to soften refrigerated buttercream frosting, rest at room temperature. If you are not in a hurry, you can set out your buttercream frosting in your kitchen at room temperature. You can let the frosting rest for 30 to 45 minutes. This allows the frosting to gradually reach the right temperature without the worry of it melting. After the frosting has reached room temperature, you can use a small stand mixer or a good wooden spoon to mix it together. Sometimes buttercream separate after a few days, so they need to be mixed back together to reach the right consistency. Add corn syrup. A quick way to soften your buttercream is to add some clear corn syrup. This will help loosen your buttercream if it has become stiff. Add just a few drops at a time and mix until the buttercream has achieved a desirable texture. Water bath. Another efficient way to soften your buttercream is with a warm water bath. Simply place the buttercream in a metal bowl above a pot of either boiling or warm water. Leave the bowl of frosting above the water until it has reached room temperature, stirring occasionally to make sure the frosting is evenly heated. Whisk frosting. You may also soften your buttercream frosting using a stand mixer with a whisk attachment. Allow your buttercream to sit out for a few minutes and then turn your mixer on medium speed and beat the frosting for a couple of minutes. Use a spatula to scrape the sides of the bowl and if needed beat the frosting for longer. Using your hands. If you have a small amount of buttercream you are trying to soften you can put it into a piping bag and use the warmth from your hands to soften it. Squeeze the bag of frosting with your hands until you feel it has reached your desired consistency. Homemade versus store-bought buttercream frosting. If you have homemade buttercream frosting, it will generally last in the fridge for up to two weeks. Homemade buttercream is also more likely to separate, so no matter what method you use to soften it, you will have to mix it together for it to return to the right consistency. Store-bought buttercream frosting has a longer shelf life and can last in the fridge for up to three weeks after opening. It also does not separate like homemade buttercream does, and it often softens quicker. If you don't have the time to make the frosting, you can purchase some tasty buttercream frostings at your local grocery store or on Amazon. Duncan Hines and Pillsbury have some delicious buttercream frostings that will go great with your baked goods. Why to soften buttercream frosting? Buttercream frosting should be at room temperature when you are decorating your baked goods. This will allow it to be at the proper consistency and allow shapes to hold their form. Since buttercream has a high fat content, it sometimes has an oily consistency when it is cold. When the buttercream is cold, it has a very firm texture, unlike the creamy consistency it has at room temperature. The firm texture it has when it's cold makes it difficult to frost with, especially if you are trying to pipe decorations. 
buttercream frosting can be tricky to work with sometimes. That's why serving it at room temperature will allow it to be at the best texture. Buttercream frosting starts to separate if it is too cold or too warm. However, it is important to store it in the fridge to help it stay fresh and keep its quality. Choosing the simple method that is ideal for you. Softening your buttercream is important before using it. Luckily, there are many simple ways to do it that will make your buttercream creamy again. If you tried any of these methods for softening buttercream frosting, please share your experience making it. Here's a quick review of the methods you can use to soften buttercream. Microwave. Rest at room temperature. Add corn syrup. Water bath. Whisk frosting. Use your hands. If you liked this video don't forget to like and subscribe.